If you're a support player, you'll know the pain of playing against Tinkers and Meepos without being able to do anything. You pick first, and the enemy Smurf last picks his favorite hero, and all you can do is try your best and trick yourself into thinking that the game is winnable. Lived, but just two dead already, nine. Another casualty for Tundras. They have no answers for this, this Tinker. There's literally nothing they can do. It's an ultra kill, and they did basically nothing. But anymore, Bucko. The problem with any guys on countering Tinker, and trust me, I did a lot of them in the past, is that there is only so much you can do against a really good Tinker. But there is one strategy that is smurf proof and you can start doing it today. Pick Tinker support. You might think I'm crazy and you'll probably be right, but even a broken clock is right twice a day and I think it might just be my time to shine. So it's no surprise that taking away Tinker from the enemy smurf is a net positive, but is Tinker good enough as a support hero to justify your tilted allies that will probably struggle to understand and believe that you're not trolling? I think so. The hero has a lot of great things about it, and trust me, it's 1000% easier to play than normal core tinker. And I mean, I'm a 30 year old potato, so you know there's not that much skill involved in playing this. Now, if you're watching this and you are a YouTube guide fiend, you probably know that there is actually supporting your guys around. I'm definitely not the first one to talk about this. Uh, Rispol probably has the you know the biggest uh, video about it. He goes for a similar build that I go to, but I think for the most part it's kind of like a fun video. He doesn't really explain a lot of things I'm going to explain, and I have some trouble with a lot of the item decisions, uh, at least the intermediary item decisions uh, that he goes for. But anyways, super entertaining video. Shout out to Rispol. Love the guy. I have been doing support tinker actually by uh, PSG LGD Planet. If you guys go back, there is a five month year old game where uh, pretty much Boots of Bearing got introduced and I saw him actually trying it out. So he played a core tinker game here, but he has two support tinker games and he was going for Boots of Bearing. And that's where I actually, that's where the seed was planted. What is good about Tinker in lane? Well, he's one of the few heroes in the game that have base 0.75 mana regen, which translates to 2.3 mana regen at level 1 with no stats. Very few heroes are even close to this, and one of them is considered the best support in the game right now, Techies. Now, I could be biased, but I believe Tinker is just as good, if not better, at Haras than Mr. Tech is in lane, because his way to deal damage is the most simple and dumb thing in the world. You just press W, again and again and again. And because of his ridiculous mana region, without any clarities, you can cast missiles about 10 times in lane without doing anything. If you hit two heroes in lane every time you use it, that's about 1200 damage of possible damage output without counting right clicks, without counting anything else, at level 1, from 2k range. Since we're talking about the lane, I really like this opener. You want to maximize your time in lane, being alive, so six tangles are necessary. Sticks makes you even more sustainable to cast spells, and having fairy fire plus blood grenade makes people that think you're easy to kill regret fighting. Your build should be rushing boots, since this hero's biggest weakness is gap closing. And trust me, people are gonna hate you in the entire game. They're gonna go for you. So get boots and then get soul ring. Your job in lane is to harass the shit of your enemies to let your carry farm. Usually, it's not hard to secure lotuses because everyone is always going to be low HP and afraid to really fight you into it. So make sure you secure them, turning fights around with their heal or just healing your carry is already enough to tunnel vision them. This hero can gank, but don't focus too much into it early. Getting level 6 at a good time is incredibly important with this hero, so respond to ganks if they happen. But don't be seeking fights before level 6 because it can ruin your game if you die in a dumb way, if you die without a TP. The only reason this hero is viable as a support past the laning stage is the fact he can be everywhere. And when you can be everywhere, you have to make wide decisions. So do your mid need a bot refill, go do that. Is your carry low HP? Get him a cell. It takes you like 5 seconds to get one. Is your 14 minute wisdom rune up? Pick it up without making a tower defense fight suffer for it. You can literally stack ancients every minute if you want to without really jeopardizing your position in the map. 
And if your cores are too dumb to make use of them, you can just buy a smoke and farm it yourself. I'm sure I'm barely scratching the surface on how good this hero possibly is. So use this guide as inspiration more than anything. I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm still very rusty, but I'm getting back into it. Uh, in good games, my favorite build is rushing Boots of Bearing. You counter every slow forever, since you can refresh it infinitely. So it's actually a great fighting initiator and a way to disengage when fights start getting a little weird. It gives you better rush taking, it gives you better siege, and it gives you the HP region to sustain soul ring through multiple fights. After that, the world is your oyster. You can go set of eyes. I oftentimes go halberd against lineups with two or three right clickers. It's really freaking good and it also makes you tanky. Eventually, people are gonna figure out your action is super annoying and gonna jump you and having that extra HP and the status resistance could be very important. You might have realized by now that I didn't mention anything about Blink Dagger, the core item of Cancer Tinker, core Tinker, as a support, you're going to be a poor lad, so investing 2k gold on an item that gives you no stats while you will be playing with level 1 or level 2 rear throughout most of the game is not safe, at least in my opinion, from what I tested. I'm also a garbage tinker player and I think playing with dagger forces you into playing way too aggressive, when I think the reason this hero shines in support is actually being a defense matrix bot, giving everyone in your team 40% status resistance and a shield is no joke, and that's very hard to do if you're jumping back lines to do pretty garbage damage since you have no goal to really buy any items anyways. So yeah guys, I don't want to make this guy too long. There's more that I wanted to talk about, but this video is the first one I'm dropping in three years and I know it's gonna bomb. The algorithm probably thinks this channel is dead anyway, so I'm trying to go for a short video to maximize retention and, and see if you know, I can still revive this channel if I have to start over somewhere else. If you still like my guides, anyone more, I'm back baby.